connect to the ducts. The first thing that we need to do before doing a duct test is to make sure that the air handler is off and will not come on during our test. In some cases it's a matter of turning down the thermostat, in other cases it might be a matter of turning the air handler off so it can't come on. We also need to remove all the air filters and of course close the filter compartment and now we're ready to go to the next stage which is taping the flange to the main return. So using our, our quick guide, uh, we've located step one. We've already done the first check off, which is turning off the air handler. Now what we're going to do is to figure out where in the system do we want to connect our duct tester to. Usually we're going to find the largest uh, return grill in the house, and here's one we've attached or detached for you, and attach the flex duct flange onto the register. So typically what we would do is to tape it with two inch tape around here and seal this up with grill mask or with tape so that it's completely sealed off. So for convenience, I've already done that and I've attached a flex duct flange to a small return grill on this little box which is actually a duct simulator which I'm using for convenience. So essentially a duct system is like a big box with a bunch of holes in it and this is a box with some adjustable holes in it which you will see later. The next step is to take the flex duct flange and connect the flex duct itself to it The last checkoff box for step number one is to set the duct tester on the correct range. Here we have it in what's called the low range, and that would be for a very, very tight duct system. Typically, we'll find that the mid range will handle most duct systems in new and even existing houses. So we'll start on the mid range and see where we go from there.